I'm going to show you 30, 30 toys you've never seen before, like this. There's two things I love to do when I'm making a video. One is to make you see something that you had from your childhood that you forgot about, where you say, oh man, Jumpman, you just blew my mind, I forgot about that toy, I had that. Or, I like to show you a toy that you didn't even know they made, and you say, Jumpman, damn, I would like to have that, that's awesome. So today, I found 30 toys I bet you've never seen before. Now, some of these I'm sure you have seen before, but hopefully, most of them you hadn't. Some of them I might have even talked about in videos before, but I guarantee you most of these on the list you didn't even know they made. So let's get after it. And we're going to start right here with the Alien Blaster. Yep, remember the movie Alien? They made toys from Alien, and here it is. A giant target set where you can shoot ping pong balls at it. Yeah, ping pong balls. It had little targets on it where you had to hit. This guy, this kid, it's shooting a little too close. It's not that fun when you're like, okay, you, five points if you hit the hand and he's right there on it. Come on, kid, back up at least 10 feet. And then we have the Transformer mm, Starscream TV Lounge In. Get it? Lounge In? You're lounging in it? Yep, this was made for kids to blow up and they could sit there and watch the Transformer cartoon. And it makes daddy wish he tried a little harder to talk mom into getting an abortion. Man. But there it is. Mm. What does it say? Transform into hours of TV fun. The only way this thing would be fun if you saw a little kid sitting on it and he stuck a needle in it. <laughs> then it might be fun. Let's see. Holds up to 85 pounds. Well, sorry, Jeffrey McGillicuddy, because I know you didn't weigh 85 pounds. Not in the third grade. And speaking of Transformers, how about this one right here? A 36-inch pop bag. Now, I think I've done a whole video on pop bags. I think. I know I talked about the Star Wars. Remember these pop bags? You blow them up. You got sand in the bottom of them. You punch them. They fall. They pop back up. Kind of like a wobble. A weeble wobble. But, no. You, you get your exercise in. Star Wars, when they made a Jawa, I never I was like, who wants to punch a Jawa? Who wants to punch R2? Didn't make much sense. But now you can beat up a Transformer. And this one's in 3D. I don't know how it's in 3D. I guess when it pops back up and it hits you in the face, they're like, that's some 3D coming at you. And how about Alien Egg? A jigsaw puzzle inside. Open it and create the alien. 75 pieces inside. That's pretty cool. I like to just have the egg. That's pretty neat right there. I think they would have put some silly putty in that egg. Because I know you, I don't know about you, but when I see an egg, I think silly putty. And how about a battle cow bounce on? Ugh. If your parents wouldn't disappointed you in enough when you had that stupid transformer tr that you blow up and watch TV shows with, how about a battle cow air bouncer? You blow it up, or your dad blows it up, about to pass out, probably trying to blow it up, and then you sit on it and you bounce up and down. Ugh. It's bad enough the kid's got a bowl haircut and he's wearing overalls. What a disappointment right there. Holds up again to 85 pounds. Sorry, Jeff. Uh, reinforced steam, sh reinforced seams. Easy fit, easy fill air valve. Man, look at that. Did you know they made such a thing? Well, did you know they made this? The A-Team Grenade Toss. Now we're talking having fun. Man, if I had a friend in their neighborhood of this, I would be over the house all the time. They'd be like, oh, here comes Junk Kid again. What's he doing, trying to check out my sister? No, I'm trying to toss your A-Team Grenades. This thing looks awesome. Even got Amy Allen on the box. Mr. T didn't hog it up. A lot of times Mr. T hogs up all the A-Team stuff. Uh, how about this right here? Hard Castle and McCormick toys. I couldn't just pick one and I couldn't find pictures of them. This is the best pictures I could find. Look at this. Hard Castle and McCormick toys. A shotgun. A bunch of different little guns. I think I might even see a Luger. And handcuffs. Did you know they made toys based on Hard Castle and McCormick? They even made a toy car, but I didn't pull that up for this video. But I did pull this up. Daisy. Remember Daisy toy? Daisy made the BB gun or pellet gun, some people call it. I call it a BB gun. I know pellet's a little different than a BB. But did you know they made a water gun? Airplane, jet, Tomcat, 
F-14, like a Top Gun type airplane, but it's a water gun. So you're playing around, and you're says, "Oh, let me play that. Oh, here, let me play with that water gun." <laughs> Squirt her right in the face. Man, that's awesome. Now, I didn't know they made such a thing. That would have been a cool water gun to have. How about this? Oh, God. Why do you kids want to sit on inflatable toys while you watch TV? Oh, TV lounge in. Wind Rider. Hmm. Oh, Raider. Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Wind, Wind Raider. Oh, this one holds up to 85 pounds also. Damn, Jeff, you can't sit on nothing. Lose some weight. Oh, there he is, another stupid haircut. And he's gonna... Uh, this is worse than the Transformer one you sit on. Can you imagine having a kid, he's sitting on this thing, bouncing up and down, watching that He-Man cartoon? Hmm, what a disappointment that would be. How about this right here? You're like, what is that? Some kind of carrying case or something? Nope. It's a Dukes of Hazard AM and FM portable radio. AM, so you can listen to Paul Harvey. He handed man a hoe. And the FM, so you can listen to Joan Jett and the Blackhawks. Moving on and singing at Oh, hope I didn't lose any of my I don't get any I hope I didn't get any copyright trouble for that one. They ought to give me a copyright strike for not being able to talk. Well, you did you probably knew about this, but did you know about this one? Released in the 70s, Pillsbury Doughboy, Poppin' Fred's Dough himself, Puppet. You put your hand up through the can and you make him talk and you have a little portable friend. Who would play with this thing? Who would say, I want a Poppin' Fresh Dough toy? And they did a whole lot of toys. I didn't even bring them all up. They did like a mama and a girl, not just puppets, like little figures and everything. I could, I could do a whole video on this crap. Ugh, but you think that's something? Check this out. The Last Starfighter Target Set. Now this is weird because look at the logo. You got the last, it's like a whole different type of fonts and everything. And Starfighter, don't even look like they go together. But, and look at it, it looks like, it looks like somebody made this. It looks like some kid's art. I don't, I don't know, this is weird. But, it's real. Target set, The Last Starfighter. They didn't make enough Last Starfighter toys, if you were to ask me. But you know what they did make? They did make this. Mr. H2O. I don't know exactly what it is. Some kind of toy robot. Let's see, let me lean in. Multi-action, multi-action. Multi-action? Multi-action, multi, I'll just say it twice. Multi-action, a multi, I don't know. But he should shoot water, being his name is Mr. H2O. If he doesn't, I'm very, very disappointed. And how about a buddy bug? A buddy bug, now I've seen these before. Um, today, where they make it look like a cockroach. But they didn't want to make it look like a cockroach uh, back then. They made it look like a bug that your parents wouldn't think was real. Because you didn't want to get beat by a bicycle chain. No, you didn't. So, you you know, you it would scare your sister, but your parents would be like, okay, it's not a real bug. Calm down, Susie. It's, it doesn't look like a real bug. But you pull it back and it spins all around and everything and it just, it might, it might make the cat all excited, but you know, they didn't want one that looked like a real bug because that's just asking for trouble. But here's something that would have got you in trouble. Hmm. Charming Charms. You had to buy a bunch of these and hook them to you. And this, this is following the stupid girl crap video. I did last week's stupid girl crap. This is like the definition of stupid girl crap. Girl, why would you want a little bird charm? Uh, I don't know. Now, I like a little bird that does like this and drinks water. Remember that? Remember that little bird that would drink some like red liquid? I don't know what that red liquid was. Hmm. Tastes like an orange foot. Tastes like an orange foot. That's all I remember about that that red liquid. But remember that? Hmm. Let's move on here to this. Warriors of the Galaxy. Look at this. Don't this look fun? Six electronic battle sounds. Man, look at that. That looks like they made a whole. They made a bunch of these different toys under the. Under the theme, Warriors of the Galaxy. I guess it's not really a theme, but does anybody out there remember this? Did anybody have this growing up? Maybe you saw it one day at Zayers, and you're like, I want it, Mom. And Mom didn't buy it for you because she didn't love you. Just be, let's be honest. Mom didn't love you. It's probably why you're counseling today. If your mom bought you Warrior of the Galaxy, whatever this thing is, I'm sure you wouldn't be in counseling today. Now, would you? Well, you might still go to counseling. If you didn't get this... A clip-on for your zipper. 
Now, that's not even for your zipper. It just clips onto your pocket, I think. It's not even a zipper clip on. He-Man's... He-Man clip on. I can't even talk. This thing is so stupid. Fingers clips on back. It's just a clip. You know, if it was a girl, it would be clipping your hair. But this one clips onto your little shirt pocket or something. Maybe maybe if you're a freaky kid, maybe you clip it onto your nipple and go to school and you're excited all day. I don't know what it is, but there it is. A He-Man clip on. Ugh. Man, they're clipping this thing on, sitting on your battle cat. Oh, inflatable battle cat. You think that's bad? Check this out. Alien Attack Galactic War Action Playset. Now that looks like a cool playset. Look at that little kid. He's happy. He don't have any brothers or sisters. He don't have anyone bugging if it's their turn to play with it. He's just in his own little world playing with his Alien Attack set. Wow, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's, but, well, let's get back to stupid. Let's get back to stupid. He-Man 110 Camera. I don't know what 110. Maybe it means the film or something. Don't tell me in the comments. I don't care. It's flash camera. He has a flash. Probably pops up and has a flash. But a He-Man camera. Mm. Now look at this here. Takes real pictures of all your heroes and friends. Now if I'm right, let me know. I think If I remember right, you take a picture with this and He-Man appears in the picture with you. Yeah, you take a picture of your friends and He-Man superimposed on it. If I remember correctly. Uh, hopefully I didn't remember. Hopefully I was racist from my memory. I didn't have this. I didn't have this. And I don't care what Jenny Green tells you. I didn't have it. I didn't take it to school. And I didn't take pictures of the classmates standing next to He-Man. Let's move on and look at this right here. The Dukes of Hazzard CB car set. Didn't have this. I wish I had it. So excited. Spitting all over the table. That's how exciting I am. The Dukes have had a seat. Now, that dude's got him a cool cowboy hat. Look like something Bald Hog would wear on top of his head. Man, it doesn't come with the hat, though. That's false advertisement right there. CB car set. Don't worry, it's not a real CB. You can't talk to strangers. Let's move on here to a pilot playset from Top Gun. Got a helmet, got a little airplane that has a handle trigger on it. Doesn't shoot water. Doesn't shoot water, it should. But, did you know they even made Top Gun toys? Top Gun, remember that? With Tom Cruise, whatever happened to that guy. Tom Cruise, Top Gun. Never really cared for it. I know a lot of you love Top Gun. My sister went to the movies and saw it. She's like, you gotta go see this movie, Top Gun. It's about, and I, I thought it was gonna be a movie about a gun. Uh, but it was about airplanes, and it was kind of boring, if you ask me. I'm sorry, sorry. I know, you gotta see a man take his shirt off and play volleyball on the beach, uh, but it, Let's be, it, it was kind of boring. It, it was kind of. I didn't see the second one, and I didn't like. It, it, I know I'm on. Oh, that, that Nintendo game. Oh, that Nintendo game. We got to land on the aircraft. Let's go on. I'm, I'm gonna have to go to therapy. Okay. How about this right here? Another clip on, but it's Andre the Giant. Look at that. Clip it onto your shirt, or again, clip it on your nipple if you're a little freaky kid. I'm not judging anyone, but there you go, Andre the Giant. Man. Lip ons. Hmm. How about this right here? A light up sword and shield from the masters of the universe. Why they gotta put He Man's face all over the shield? It should look like the shield from the He Man cartoon or the comics, whatever one you wanna call. Uh, the sword shouldn't say masters of the universe on it either. Now, I think they did do a toy that looked like the real shield, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about this one right here the light up shield. Sword and shield. But you think that's crazy? Check this out. Buck Rogers and Twinkie. Remember Twinkie? Twinkie, Twinkie, whatever his name was. Hated that little robot. I was like, you, oh, you say 3 po wannabe. I just don't want to punch him in the face because I thought he was trying to take, he was trying to take the glory of 3 po and R2. It's like, you can't do it. You can't do it trying to take away everyone's love for R2 and 3 po Ah, oh, but how do I, here's a target set. I would love to shoot at him. Got some little fake, little plastic walkie-talkies that didn't do nothing. You got a belt with a buckle that says Buck Rogers on it. I don't think Buck Rogers ever wore a belt buckle that said his name on it. Could be wrong. Don't hold me to that. How about Gross Out Gang? Here's a line of toys. Look at that one. Look like Napoleon Dynamite. Remember that movie? 
Yeah, he's got his brain exposed. This is part of the late 80s and into the early 90s. Gross out toys for boys. There was a lot of these toys, you know, Mad Ball, Snot toys and stuff. And this was a line. This was just one figure of the line. But do you, did you remember Gross Out Gang? There was a whole bunch of them. Rambo Black Flack Bubblegum. Rambo Bubblegum, an R-rated movie, gets his own bubblegum line, and this one's black raspberry flavor. Mm. When you went to see the Rambo movie, now we all went to see it. I don't know about today, but back then we went to see R-rated movies. We didn't care. We didn't go with our parents. Theaters didn't give a crap. It's not like a law. You get arrested if you let a kid go see an R movie. So, kid, they didn't care. As long as they got their money, right? So, you go see Rambo. And I don't know about you, but I went to see Rambo, and the first thing I thought about was, hey, I'm going to have to get me some gum. I want to go chew some black raspberries. <sighs> Who are the marketing geniuses that came up with this one? Probably also the marketing genius that did this. <sighs> Rambo. Big Wheel. And there's a big kid riding it. He's like, I can't sit on any of the inflatable toys, so my mom got me a plastic ride on Rambo Big Wheel. Can you believe they made a Big Wheel? Mm. Look at this thing. That's pretty badass. And, you know, ignore the little fat kid on it. Other than that, it's pretty badass. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a lot cooler than this, that's for sure. <sighs> James Bond 007 Exploding Spoon. Now you think of Junk Man, you funny, man. What's this? Some kind of AI? What'd you make this? You get a spoon later on a car? No, this is real. This is real. They made this. Exploding spoon. You put caps in it. And you drop it and it pops. Or you throw it at the wall and it pops. Mm. Or you stick it in your sister's cereal and when she goes to eat her Fruit Loops, it pops in her tongue. Oh, great times, great times. Then she drops her Fruit Loops and milk gets all over the carpet and your dad beats you with a bicycle chain. Oh, the 80s, man. The 80s, I love you, but I hate you. Well, there we go. It's harmless. It'll let you know it's harmless. Yeah, tell that to my rear end that had bicycle chain marks on it for two months. Oh, loading instructions are on the back. As seen in the movies, I don't remember James Bond ever having an exploding spoon, but I could be wrong. I'm, I wish they did a whole set of this. Exploding fork, exploding toothpick, exploding knife. That would have been really good, but can you believe it? A James Bond exploding spoon. But don't worry, we ain't done yet. Look at this. Chicken tenders the Burger King set. No, this ain't real. This is plastic food. And look, I've come with a pack of cigarettes in there. Why did you come with a pack of cigarettes? Did they do that at Burger King? You get your chicken, you get your... And the dog's leaving. What's wrong? Am I talking too loud? The dog's leaving. The dog's leaving. Oh, man, look at this. Comes with a pack of cigarettes. What was going on with Burger King back in the 80s? Ugh, let's look at one more. Well, and it's not, I know you're going to say, this is some kind of bootleg generic thing because the package looks so awful, but it's not. It's official. I don't think it was released in the U.S., but check this out if you're a Mark Singer fan. A V toy! Look at this. Come with a little picture of Mark Singer and his V outfit and a little gun and some little pellets to put in it. V! They did a whole... They did about, I don't say a whole bunch. There's like three or four different kinds of this, but look at this. This is some generic looking package. As far as I can find out, this is official. I mean, look at that toy company. They made a lot of official toys. In fact, they made the Exploding Spoon. They made the Exploding That's how... Uh, so, look at this. Did you even know they made V-Toys? <sighs> I love some V-Toys. And some last Starfighter <sighs> toys. Why? Why? Oh, we get Exploding Spoons, but we can't get a good V-Toy line. And believe it or not, believe it or not, that's 30 items I hope you've never seen before. Okay, okay, you've seen three or four of them. So, I've... Uh, We'll say 26 things you've never seen before. Let me know in the comments. Did you see any of these? Are there any you were like, damn, I wish I knew about that as a kid. I would have loved, I would have loved to have that. Let me know that in the comments below. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>